A best practice taking pictures with the Ricoh Theta cameras is to use a monopod on top of a desktop tripod. Ideally, the desktop tripod has weights on it to prevent the camera from tipping over. In this example, I'm using the TimeShift free plugin, which it automatically eliminates the photographer from the picture. The photographer is completely hidden from the screen. If you don't have a monopod with yep. you, you may be tempted to hold the camera in your hand. Although this is convenient, it's going to create quite a bit of problems with your photos. The clarity of the picture may be reduced slightly as there may be some slight shakes of your hand and you will absolutely be in the picture. If you can bring a small desktop tripod or a monopod to the site, you can get better pictures. If you simply hold the monopod in your hand and extend it above your head, you can eliminate the large claw hand look in the pictures. Just by extending the camera about three inches above where your hand is and then using the self timer, you can get relatively okay shots. You could further improve this shot by wearing a round hat. In post-production, you can eliminate the photographer with this technique from the picture later. If you're in a rush, you can simply wear a good-looking hat, and that will be the nadir of the shot. Although the monopod is slightly larger to bring on site, it will give you greater extension and create um, more flexibility in your shots. In this example, I'm simulating putting the camera in a roof or closer to some type of structure where you you can't really fit your hand into it so you need some type of extension to take the picture you may need to use this technique if you need to stick the camera above the ceiling panels during a construction another technique is to use the monopod and stick it directly above your head so in this case, the photographer is going to be at the nadir of the shot. This workflow is slightly faster yep. because you don't have to um, put the monopod down on a on the desktop tripod base, then move it, and then move out of the shot. Although the, it's faster, you can see that the photographer is still in the in the shot here, you could edit the photographer out, but it depends on what you're looking for in your workflow. Be curious to see what your workflow is like. Feel free to leave a comment below.